Hi, I'm Katerina Pontarero with National Underwriter Property and Casualty. Here are the top stories on PC360.com for the week of July 23rd to July 27th. Penn State has enough insurance coverage to deal with the lawsuits that might result from the Jerry Sandusky child sexual abuse scandal, according to President Rodney Erickson on CBS's Face the Nation program this past Sunday. He was quoted as saying the school was, quote, adequately covered against lawsuits that might arise. The university is involved in a legal battle with its main liability insurer, Pennsylvania Manufacturers Association Insurance Company, over who should have to pay for any civil suits in the Sandusky scandal. Meanwhile, State Farm filed to have a federal judge declare the company has no obligation to defend convicted child abuser and former Penn State assistant football coach Sandusky in any criminal case and it does not have any duty to defend or indemnify Sandusky in a civil case naming his charity, The Second Mile, as a defendant. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York told a federal judge it acted lawfully in bailing out AIG during the 2008 financial crisis and should not face a $25 billion lawsuit by the insurer's former CEO, Hank Greenberg. Greenberg's case, brought on behalf of his company Star International, accused the New York Fed of wasting more than $60 billion of AIG and taxpayer funds in a, quote, backdoor bailout that let favored trading partners, such as Goldman Sachs, be repaid in full and freed from legal liability. Star, which once held a 12% stake in AIG, also said the bank circumvented the law by allowing the U.S. Treasury to take a nearly 80% stake in the insurer without a vote by existing shareholders who would be diluted. Firefighters in three Nebraska counties battled expanding wildfires last week, and an Arkansas town of 1,300 people was evacuated because of an approaching fire. While the Arkansas fire is small, burning about 100 acres as of July 26, a dispatcher for the Yale County Office of Emergency Management said only about 50% of the fire had been contained. Much larger fires were raging in Nebraska, where some 72,400 acres had been consumed in the drought-stricken north-central region of the state by July 25th. Weeks of 100-plus degree temperatures have destroyed many dryland crops across the state, leaving areas more susceptible to wildfires and making conditions for firefighters nearly unbearable. According to Evan G. Greenberg, CEO of ACE, the drought is expected to cause as much as $68 million in third quarter crop insurance losses for the company. He went on to say that should the current drought conditions worsen and continue until harvest time, quote, our modeled worst case loss, based on what we know, would be an additional circa $200 million after tax, end quote. Make sure to check out these stories and more on propertycasualty360.com. This week, see our ranking of the top 25 U.S. reinsurers and the top 10 risk management stories for the first half of this year. Thanks for watching.